Okay guys, we got. I'm pretty excited today. I just got this as a present from uh, 109 Northern Ontario, Canada, 109 French River. And, uh, my God, it's a satellite. Right, I'm going to zoom up on this sucker here. Satellite TRCX23AC. Citizens Band Transceiver. 23 channel crystal controlled. Now, I talked to one guy that's been around these radios for a long time. It, I think it's it's in the middle 60s, between 63 and 65. I could be corrected. I'm not sure. Um, so what I'm doing now, I did have it working. So basically, it's got the same hookup as a uh, Cobra mic. Okay, now I had it working. Plugged into the antenna, did my power, it's got 4 watts of power, and uh, the only difference, this connector is bigger. So I'm going to have to uh, hook up my Cobra mic, and away we go. It's pretty clean, it's, it just needs a bit of TLC. Now, we're going to go look in the back, the sucker, and here we go. Let's take a look at this here. Imported. It was imported. It says uh, made in Japan. Blah blah blah. Carnegie imported. Montreal, Canada. Pretty cool. Um, it's got speed external speaker meter adjustment. Uh, TV trap. That's apparently for um, noise. In the olden days, you had TV interfering with TV, and obviously your coax goes here. It's got two adjustments. Antenna tuning. And plate. Ooh, and let's get this right here. Plate. Anyways, this guy says plate adjustment. I guess that's uh, for your tubes for your finals. It's got two transistors at the back. Okay, but the magic is inside. It's got tubes in it. So how many tubes you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tubes. Got a massive transformer in it. Oh, it's crystal controlled. It's, oh, it's got another tube here. I think this one is for the receiver for the noise. I think this, that's what it does, this little little plate here. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not going to tell you guys I know anything about these things. Never, I, this is my first CB with actual tubes in it. Um, I had it working. It transmits and receives. It uh, came out pretty good. So what my initial... Oh, yeah, so I do at the back. I got this off. I'll just flip this over to show you what it looks like inside here. Oh, don't break anything, Mark. And it's all there. It's all here. It's all there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty clean under here. It's, it's, it's pretty good. That's that's back in the days you were actually able to repair stuff. and You know, there's no, there's no circuit board. This is all hand-wired. It's all hand-wired. Now, whoever had it before put a knew what they were doing. Obviously, they put a fuse in it for some odd reason, which is kind of cool. So, um, this side's good. I'm not even going to touch it, but it does work. The white, white, oh yeah. Really activated. So it's got a relay. So you, when you want to transmit, it, the, relay will, the relay will kick on and the way it goes. So it is relay. It's a little relay right in there. Right, there's the relay. Good old days, man. Can you imagine being like 15, 16 years old as a little boy, a little girl? Getting your first CB back in the 60s and you have something like this. So basically, I'm just going to clean it up inside. I'm going to start cleaning all up here. It's, it's just dusty. And uh, back then, the top has full holes for venting. So I guess when you have something like this, I guess it's ideal to cover it up and you're not using it. So I'm going to see. I'm going to see if I can get this polished up. I'm going to repaint the black. Repaint this all black here. Get it all done nice and pretty. Clean this up. And uh, I just took to show you what I did. So I went, I went to Costco. You buy this big packs and it comes in the case and you get all these little wipes. Uh, this is a tube that's been polished. Like brand new. And the ones in there are a little bit dirty. But once you start polishing them up, clean everything up. I'm going to clean it the best as I can. Take my time. And uh, yeah. Pretty excited, pretty excited on modulation. The light, it worked. I was pretty impressed, but actually it worked pretty good. 
so uh, external speaker or phones uh, the, the squelch has to be wasn't quite working right so I, I'm gonna put some cleaner in there but the, the meter worked it, it did work and uh, yeah so we're gonna let you guys go with this hopefully the next video I'll have will be doing some uh, shooting some skip with this I'm gonna hook it up to my my uh, tornado boot or just try it around locally and uh, go from there but never seen one of these and it's uh, I got it as a present and I'm pretty excited to get this thing on there on the road but uh, yeah so if anybody has any comments they want to tell me more about this thing or if anybody has one or they can give me some tips on it I would be deeply appreciate it and uh, okay guys we'll let you go and uh, catch you later